welcome to day one of Vlogmas at an inquisitive crafter. <laughs> My name is Susie, in case you've forgotten, or just starting here with me. And uh, I'm really excited about Vlogmas. I've never done a Vlogmas before. I don't know if I can keep up, but I'm excited to try. Um, it is Friday and it is the weekend. I just had, I'm an orchestra teacher, a middle school orchestra teacher in the Dallas area in Texas. And we just had our winter concert yesterday on November 30th. And I teach about, well, I probably shouldn't give too many details, but we had a great concert. Um, the kids were really happy. And then today we reviewed the concert, went over like what we liked and what we need to fix for next time. And I told the kids how proud I was of them and how they did everything I asked them to do. And they were trying really hard and I just told them they did a great job and they were very happy. And so then we played music bingo and uh, reviewed some you know music terms that we uh, need to be retaining and just had a great day, but it was pretty exhausting trying to keep them to not throw their bingo markers all over the floor. Um, I couldn't find my bingo markers, so we used uh, pony beads <laughs> that I'd had from Crochet Club when I used to teach a crochet club after school. I hope to do that again this year. Uh, I did teach a young gentleman to um, chain today because of his friend. She had been crocheting and he wanted to learn. And I said, oh my gosh, I have so much yarn and I have hooks that um, I have and I'll, I'll show you. And he was so happy. It was really nice. It was a good, it was a good day. It was a good day. Well, uh, my family, we've eaten. We had uh, fast food, Schlotzkis and chicken tenders for the, my <laughs> practically grown kiddos, but the kiddos. And uh, we're settled in watching um, a Christmas movie. And I just wanted to pop in here and just talk about a couple of things. Well, first of all, I got, um, a, a few weeks ago, I ordered a skein of yarn from, um, Toad, Ho Toad Hollow. Yes, Toad Hollow. And they have a wonderful podcast. I'm assuming they're still podcasting, but they have a great, um, yarn dyeing situation there. And they had advertised, they've shown this yarn for, that was, Color, died in honor of a favorite book. This is the favorite book collection of a book called Remarkably Bright Creatures. I can't remember the title, I mean, the author's name, but that is an amazing book. It's so good. I enjoyed it so much. And the cover is a beautiful blue and orange. Um, the octopus is in orange. And so here is, I think I bought the yarn based on the title alone. Here is Remarkably Bright Creatures. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know why I didn't show it before. You know, when I was at DFW Fiberfest a while back, I was hunting for the perfect um, autumn yarn like a blue teal and an orange. And this this would have been almost a, a you know good candidate. It's ocean blue, but it's got those greens in there. So pretty. So I got that. But what I wanted to talk to you about is the um, mystery MCAL that Sarah Shira of Imagine Landscapes is doing. It's no matter what. So day one started today and I can't wait to dive in. I was gonna show off my set up. Oh, I forgot something. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Just got so excited I wanted to get started and come in here real quick. So I wanted to show you my setup. So I have um, a gnome bag from Adornets. This was the Splash Pad Party 2021 gnome bag. It's the only gnome bag I have currently, although I did just today order a Christmas one. A Christmas gnome bag. So excited. From Adornas also. Um, I have participated in uh, gnome um, advents in the past and uh, gotten the little goodies that come with Loopy U. It does a, 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 like a side package. I don't know what to call it, but in addition of um, 
of goodies that Sarah will tell you, you know, periodically, okay, if you're a Loopy U subscriber, open this one, open this one, open it, you know, on days. So I have, I'm all set up. I have uh, my uh, darning needles in my, what is this called? Notions bag? Oh, Notions bag. Notions bag? Well, no. I have my gnome um, swatch measure, which I don't use very much, but I'm going to get better at that. I have my gnome tassel maker, which is the side you want to show, the bumpy side maybe? Yeah, I think it's this side. Oh. I don't know if you can see that, but a little tassel maker for one of the, it helped out with one of the gnomes that we did. I've got my non-gnome, but essential reading glasses because I'm getting old and I cannot see the way I used to. I have a gnome ruler. I have, oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. I have a gnome stitch marker tin. This makes me feel super nerdy, super gnomey nerdy. That has in it some adornments, of course, stitch markers, including a little candy cane gnome, progress keeper. I've got a lantern progress keeper from one of the, sorry, it's wiggling from one of the uh, gnomes that we made. I feel like I should know all their names and stuff. I'm not very good at that. I just like the stories and then my brain kind of forgets them sadly. But then I go back and look. I have, what else do I have? Oh, I have some more stitch markers, some snowflake ones. A lot of snowflake ones. Oh, you can't, oh, it's tangled, sorry. Oh, and this was from Marionated Yarns. Uh, a couple years ago, I got her advent collection. And what else do I have in here? Okay, I think that's all the Nomi stuff. Oh, I got one more. A little uh, Gnome Sweet Gnome uh, ruler. So, uh, the, the project calls for um, four skeins or four mini skeins of yarn, I guess. I'm looking to see. And I went ahead and ordered the ice skating set from the Loopy U for Mr. Knightley. That's what the gnome is called. So, dream and color for Loopy U. And my four colors are my C4, color four, is as a bird. Sarah says this should be your, oh, I can't wind yarn. I was practicing with my winder what I wanted to do, but this is um, as a bird. And then I have crying dove. This will probably be for the beard and the nose. And then I have black pearl, which is actually just a really dark gray, and gold experience. So here they all are together, and I will be making Mr. Knightley from them. I also got, a while back on Yarnable, I got this uh, Yarnable uh, from last October, I think, because it was when it was the Raven yarn. Um, but I got this Delic bag. I think it's a Delic bag. It's a yarnable bag. It's a. I felt for sure it was a Delic bag. But anyway, I got this bag and I didn't know what it was for because it's got snaps. Well, I think I can. I saw something you put your yarn in and then you can pull out the yarn and it won't. 
it will, you know, put it on either side of the snaps and then it won't tangle so much if you're doing, I guess, a center pull, which I will be trying to do a center pull for each of the colors except for the gold one because uh, I decided to wind it to a ball. But I don't know. We'll see if it'll work. So I thought that was really cute. So I'm adding that. And then I also got, this is actually going to be for a different project. So I don't think, I'm not going to use it for this one. But I got, um, they, uh, Loopy U had, or, no, not Loopy U. This is Lemonwood. Did a beautiful, I don't know what this is called, but it's a skein holder, a yarn cake holder. Look at this. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? So you can put the cake of yarn here on the little spindle, which comes out. If I took this hook out, it'll come out. Put the cake of yarn on there. Um, and then there's a wrist band and you can put it on your wrist and then you pull the yarn from the outside and you can knit in the hallways of school unless the principal catches you and says, what are you doing, Susie? <laughs> or in my case, what are you doing, Moten? Moten, what are you doing? <laughs> so I thought that was so cute, I had to have it. So I'm all set up and ready. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you, oh, maybe I'll wait. That's right, I'll show you tomorrow. Okay, well then I'm ready to go sit and knit and hopefully I'll get clue one done and then I can show clue one. I have a fancy uh, clicker offer and <laughs> I couldn't find it, now I have it. All right, happy Vlogmas.